Hi guys. Um, we see anybody watching this on catch up. Um, yeah, nice to see you and thank you so much for logging in. We'll get started in just a minute. So grab whatever you need. I've got my handy little Costa today. Um, yeah, I just need a little extra caffeine. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have my little coffee as we do our yoga. What a dreamy, dreamy start to um yeah, my practice and yeah, hopefully yours. Um, if there's anything that that you need um, for your little creature comforts, just grab them again. Um, anything you might like for Shavasana, um, yeah, any blankets or anything like that, you know, grab, grab what you need and get cozy. Like I said, we'll get started in just a minute. Oh, amazing. All right. So in today's practice, we're just going to move and flow um, and we're going to work the whole body. So really nice whole body stretch, um, but a little focus today on some of our twists and twists are often really good for our core, um, really good for um, just getting kind of that movement and that breath deep to kind of massage our internal organs. And there's lots of benefits from it. Um, and it's quite unique to yoga um, in terms of taking that breath and breathing deep. Remember, if you've got any back or shoulder pain as we move through the, the twist, just take it as far as your body will let you. Don't feel like you need to push any further. And it's just about breathing deep to the belly. So just finding that space today to find some breath, find some relaxation, and really sink into the practice. I invite you to begin in your most comfortable Shavasana pose whether that's um, on the floor or if you'd like to sit more upright in a more meditative stance, but just like to take you into a place where you can feel soft and set, ready to go. Relaxing both shoulders down, maybe lifting the head, drawing any chin in and relaxing the neck back, bringing the hands possibly down alongside the body. You can have the knees bent here or you can extend both legs whatever feels best and just invite you to begin to wherever you are close the eyes and just begin to see if there's anything you can do today to make the body feel just a little bit better or finding a bit of quiet you wanted to draw the palms up letting the backs of the hands relax on the floor you can you want to take the feet just slightly wider go for it releasing in the hips, relaxing in the face, and just stay there, breathing in, and slowly breathing out, breathing in, and slowly breathing out. I invite you to begin to soften in the forehead, relaxing in that space. Really taking time to release any stress or tension that you're still holding. Breathing in. And slowly, slowly breathing out. Begin to trace down, allowing the eyelids to feel heavy. Releasing in the creases alongside the eyes. And just allowing everything to feel soft. Breathing in and slowly breathing out. Breathing in. On your backs and exhale, slowly breathing out. Relaxing from the eyes down to the jaw, releasing. Maybe moving the jaw a little bit side to side. Beginning to get those little kinks out. Releasing, relaxing, breathing in for three, two, and exhale on one. Beautiful. And then wiggle the shoulders down away from the ears. <laughs> Excuse me as you allow the whole of the body to melt into the floor. Relaxing the shoulders to the elbows and the elbows to the wrists. 
And softening in the hands, releasing in the thumbs. Just with your fingers on both hands, your middle fingers, your ring fingers, and your pinky. And we allow the whole of the hand to soften and release. Breathing in nice and slow. And exhaling just a little slower. Allow the body and the breath to just take you to your real relaxed place. Bring yourself a little more into the present moment. Letting go of all those things that you might have to do and just giving yourself permission to have the next hour for you. Inhale. And slowly exhale. Releasing in the hips and allowing the whole of the lower body to melt. Relaxing from the hips to the knees the knees to the ankle, relaxing in the legs, and then letting go in the feet as well. Just finding time to relax, maybe taking a moment to trace every toe as you begin to relax from the crown of the head all the way down the front and the back body, all the way down to the tip of the toes, breathing in and breathing out. Exhale, beautiful. Just enjoying how this feels, even though it's a, a moment of stillness. Um, this pose is in itself a pose, right? It's extending, laying flat. Just see how that feels to you. If you feel comfortable and the body feels okay, slowly begin to bring the feet so that they're hip distance apart. You've had them in that lovely little V. And breathe, and we're going to reach the hands up towards the ceiling. And over the head, feeling that little bit of feeling of a tug of war, pointing the toes, feeling the hands reach, getting that lovely little arch underneath the back there. Three, oh, waking up the body. Two and one, beautiful. Inhale and slowly bring the hands back up above the body and down alongside you. You've got it. We're going to point one toe and flex. And point the other and flex. You've got it one and then the other, just taking a lovely little bit of time to say hello to the feet for four. Inhale and exhale. Three. Exhale. Nice, slow, deep breath. Two. Keep moving the feet. Last one on each side. And one. You've got it. Let's bend both knees, bringing the feet down onto the mat. Beautiful work today. With a little focus on twists today, we're going to begin with just moving the knees side to side. So wiggle the feet, outer edges roughly in line with the mat. Little smile here and just move. We're going to take some nice movement with twists. Take it slow, a little warm up and twist. You got it. Back to center knees and drop them to the other side. So just seeing how that feels, drop them as far as feels comfortable. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Always listening to your body. You've got the option that if you feel like you can reach the arms up over the head, maybe just grab the hands above you as you move side to side, breathing in and breathing out for four, three, two, and whatever side you're on, as you hit one, just begin to stay holding it there. Again, if the arms feel too much above the head, bring the hands onto the belly as a reminder to breathe into that belly. And otherwise, if the hands feel comfortable over the head, you can keep them there. Yogi's choice. Breathing in deep to the ribs and the belly. Inhale. And exhale. Breathing in. It's a really great one for belly and side body. Position and breath, inhale. And exhale, beautiful. Slowly bring the knees back to center and drop them to the other side, exhale. So we're gonna take three deep breaths here as well. Good. Inhale, feel the belly rise. Maybe feel the ribs, feel the expansion and exhale. Lovely, inhale. Just noticing where you feel the stretch in the breath. Lovely. Inhale. And exhale. Oh, feels good. Slowly bring the knees back to center. You've got it. 
We're going to walk the feet in to the hip touch and slowly reach the hands back up towards the ceiling and down, giving yourself a little hug here. We can take it side to side. Again, just the beginning of our practice, asking yourself, how do you feel in this pose? Can you feel it in the hips or the knees? Do you want to start moving the neck? Remember, if something feels good and you think, oh, I want to move my neck here, just listen to what your body needs. Move in nature to the practice is yours. Take, take what you want out of it for four. Breathing in and out, three, two, and one. You come back to center, big squeeze, good. So we're going to release the hands, but keep the knees bent. Let's take a little bit of a twist here. So you can rotate the knees over as far as feels comfortable, lifting into that left shoulder just to begin and see how you're feeling. Good. Now, if this feels a lot in the lower back, keep the hand resting here. Maybe just work to rotate that left shoulder up and back. Just trying to get a little bit more openness in the chest. If it feels like you can go a little bit further, Open the arms up, maybe in a little T position with the option of wiggling those shoulder blades to lie a little bit flatter. So you've got the knees resting on top of each other and taking a little bit deeper twist here. Inhaling and exhaling. So breathing through the belly, getting that lovely little massage. Inhale and exhale. So you've got it breathing in and breathing out. Good job. We're going to reach up with that left hand. The hand over. Bring it around. We're going to use it to push. You're going to use the right hand to push into the floor. Left hand brings the knees in towards the center. And coming back to that middle ground. Good. Little rock side to side. Take the head. Left and right. Just, again, nice stretch again into the neck. Little massage into the lower back. Hello. The hip and the knee, and when you're ready, next slowly roll the body over this time towards the right hand. It's got left hand side, so we knee to the left. It's our right shoulder we want to be thinking about. So the right hand can rest on the knee. You can reach here deeply, or you can rotate that right shoulder up to drop it back a little bit. Maybe rest the hand more on the hips. Breathing again to the belly, or if you spot the range of motion, third little option is to take the arms out into a little bit of a T position. Maybe seeing if you can wiggle, wiggle, wiggle those shoulder blades so they're a little flatter onto the floor. Again, take it as you need it. It's a little bit deeper in that side, lower back, and body. Breathing again into the belly. So listen, go back a step if you need to. Some nice deep breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Really notice the belly as you breathe in a twist. Inhale. And exhale, imagine we're just like, like I said earlier, just giving the organs that lovely little massage it needs. Inhale. Helps tap into the calm nervous system. Sometimes breath the belly and in a twist makes me want to yawn. Inhale. And exhale, beautiful to three. Nice, slow, deep breath, two. And one. Good to come out of it. We're going to take the right hand over. Good. We're going to use it to lift and slowly roll onto our back. You've got it. Bringing the knees in towards the chest. Inhale and slowly bring the knees down. Beautiful. We're going to take that right knee in towards the chest and open it up. We're going to bring the heel on and just wiggle it away. Opening up the hips a little bit here to get that lovely little openness. Good. Breathing in. As we exhale, just check in if this feels enough. Stick, if not, reach through the legs, grab the back of the left and breathe in towards the chest. Keep got it. Trying to relax the tailbone down as you draw the knee in. Maybe a little smile here. And maybe a little rock side to side if you like. This is us getting a little more into the glutes and the hips. Just see where you need to be. Inhale. And exhale. I'm going to invite you to find a bit of stillness now. If you've taken a little rock side to side, just stay a little bit in the still. Breathing in and breathing out. You've got it for five, for four. Breathing through that little bit of tightness if you're feeling it. Two, I definitely am. And one. You've got the option to kick up with that left foot and maybe roll the ankle, getting a little bit into that hamstring. 
You draw the knee in. That's one. Rotate the other direction when you're ready. Three. Little smile. Inhale. And exhale. Two. And one. Lifting that heel. Point and flex for three. Two. And one. Love a little warm up. Draw that knee in. And slowly bring the foot down. Good. This time we're going to take the knee and shift it over as if you're crossing the leg. So just move it over a little further and cross the leg. Good. This one's called cow facing pose. Should it recline? So we're going to draw the knees in towards the chest and just see how that feels. Again, releasing the tailbone down. We're just getting a little bit deeper into the joints. You can stay here if you're feeling it. Relax the hands. Maybe bring the neck back to a nice center point. Or if you want a little bit more depth, reach out, find that furthest knee. It would be your left one and you draw it in. Breathing in. And breathing out. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling quite tight in those areas. Breathing in. And now if you're really open and a little flexy, you can also take the outer edges of the feet. Keep the knees stacked if you've got that range of motion. And draw the knees in. But we don't want to be lifting too much in the um, tailbone. You want to work the tailbone down to get that stretch. So you can take it here. You can give yourself a hug. Or you can just relax the hands down and take the pressure away. Breathing for three. Inhale and exhale. Yogi's choice. Ready to your second breath. Inhale. And exhale. And that last breath. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. And we're going to unravel that stretch. Unravel the legs. And bring both feet down. Good. Bringing the hands alongside the body. Squeeze and lift in that pelvis just a little bit. Little reset. See how far you want to lift. Check your little neck stretch and slowly bring the spine down. Nice work. Good. We're going to draw the left knee in and open it up. Good. We don't want the ankle set on the knee. Just shimmy it away and drop the knee out. Beautiful. Letting everything soften here. See how that feels. Staying. Or taking the next layer, maybe reaching here and drawing the knee in. Totally up to you to see how you feel here. Good. If you want to rock side to side, you can. You just listen to your body for inhale and exhale. Maybe a little smile as you move, just kind of a little hello to the body <laughs> and back to center, holding here, just finding some stillness. Again, if you notice you're clenching and lifting here, you can work the tailbone down and inhale, exhale, squeeze and draw that knee in. Relax the neck as well for three. Inhale. And exhale. Good for two. Deep breath. And one. Deep breath in. And out. Option to extend that right leg. A little hello to the hamstring. I'm feeling tight today. Maybe rolling that ankle. Four. Good. So nice to feel that stretch today. Kind of in that limbo of the warm and the cold. Ready and finishing your rolls and a point and flex here. You can start to feel the body shifting and changing sometimes in the heat and the warmth. It feels a bit tighter sometimes in the cold. A little bit deeper you can go in the warmer weather. Seeing where you are, where you're practicing. Three, two, and one. Inhale, relax. Slowly bend that knee and bring the foot down. Good. We're going to shimmy that knee over. See if you can bring the knees as far as possible. Thinking about crossing them. Like you're kind of sitting on a chair and knees in line as much as possible. Amazing. So either staying here or just lifting up with the hands alongside the body. Strong them in. And let gravity do the work here. Notice if it feels really tight, just stick. This is a great place to be. Relaxing the neck, closing the eyes. and. Taking some nice, slow, deep breath. Your next option is to reach out, maybe grabbing that furthest knee or your, that's your right one. Bringing it in towards the chest, just getting that little extra depth. We'll all stay here for a few breaths. If you want to take the, the extra layer sooner, go for it. If not, inhale. And exhale, working the tailbone down the knees, draw in. Oh, that stretching the glutes. 
nice little release. And again, if you did want to grab outer wedges, keeping the knees stacked, you can do. You might get a little bit more depth there. Up to you, feeling the stretch, maybe working to bring the elbows down towards the floor. Remember to lift and relax the neck. No straining anywhere else. Wherever you're working, just find a nice, slow, deep breath. Relaxing everywhere in the body. Relaxing, letting the tailbone drop down. Inhale. And exhale. Remember, keep feeling the irritability. Just breathe through and leave, letting anything in your life not serving you. Feel the irritability and feel it leave the body with the breath. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Two more breaths. Use your last one. Inhale. And slowly exhale. Re release wherever you chose to be. You've got it. And slowly bring the feet down. Lovely work. Good. And from here, we're going to walk the heels in towards the tailbone. You got it. When you're ready, squeezing in the glutes, beginning to lift in the pelvis. Maybe lift just a little higher if that feels good to you getting into the neck. Nice little full body stretch. Slowly coming down. Feel the spine. Nice one. Good. You've got the option to stay here with the hands alongside the body and just lift and drop. Or you can reach the hands up as we lift the pelvis to lift and reach those stretch in the neck and shoulder and slowly come back down with the pelvis. Good, just a bit quicker. The inhale, lift it up. And you've got it. And exhale, coming down. Good. Breathing in, lift it up. And exhale, bring it down. Just two more. Good. Little smile would be like, inhale, lift it up. And exhale, bring it down. Good. Breathing in, last one. Pull it and drop it down. Well done. We're going to bring both knees in now. Big squeeze, little rock side to side. Get up and apart or together, whatever feels best. And when you're ready, slowly, slowly bring the knees together. Roll the body over towards the right hand side. In that lovely little fetal position, deep breath for us in. And exhale. You've got it. Pushing the body up all the way to a nice tall position on your mat. Nice little start to the class. Grab yourself a drink, whatever you've got going. Hopefully you've got water or tea or coffee. Mm. Cheeky little oat latte for me this morning. And slowly make your way into tabletop when you're ready. Have a nice little flow on the knees, just building in some of our tweaks that we've been kind of working on in some of our sessions. And again, take it as you need it today. If the quick feel too deep, just go as far as you can. You don't have to take anything too deep. Just move and slow at your own pace. You've got it. Shoulders in line with the wrist, fingers wide, knees in line with the hips. Because we're going to slowly just sit down to child pose. One descending. Drop the shoulders down. Get a little stretch here. Relax the neck. Inhale. Let's peel the body up into a nice little cat pose, pulling the shoulders apart. Breathe in here and holding just for a moment. Exhale. Inhale, rotate the shoulders up and back, lifting the tailbone. Just feeling that lovely stretch. See if you can get that length between the shoulders and the ears. Relax in the forehead. Three, two, and one. Good. Let's find a little flat back draw in from the core. You've got it right leg to the next. Then you're going to take two and take a step forward. Little float in. And extend. Good. Just getting it going and in. And extend. Inhale. And take a step forward on your third. You know where you're headed. Wiggle it forward. Mix with the knees in line with the ankle as we lunge forward. Coming up. Just whatever you need to support. Wall, chair, sofa, or freestanding. Hands on the knees. Or inhale. Reach it up. Then a little back bend works to bring the palms together. And sit down as that feels good to you. Drop the shoulders down. Good. A little bit of a stretch here, breathing and bring the palms in. Some to turn them twist. So we're going to take that left over elbow over towards the right. You can stay here as far as it feels comfortable. You can rest the elbow on top of the knee. Or if you've got that range of motion, maybe tuck the elbow in front. 
staying mm -hmm. here or pushing the elbow in, trying to bring the thumbs over a little more towards the sternum, maybe looking up. So that's a little bit of depth in your twist. Stay and breathe. Inhale. And exhale for three, two, and one. Inhale, slowly coming back up. Let's reach the arms up. A little back bend and the hands come down. Beautiful. Wiggle that front foot. Back, back, back. And sink down into your child's pose. Keep it active this time. Hands nice and wide. Rotate the shoulders out and down the back. Draw the chin in. Inhale, peel the body up. Find the Good. You know, hold it for a breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, rotate your shoulders up and down. Lifting your tailbone, feeling that lovely stretch. Shoulder. Finding the length between the ear and the shoulder. You got it. Flat back. Inhale. We draw in, tucking the floating rib in, coming in from the navel. Nice flat back. You've got it. Two little kick out and the knee. Draw in. Exhale. Good. Inhale, extend. And exhale, draw it in. Inhale, extend. Taking your third big step forward, you got it. Good, take your time, find your balance, and when you're ready, come in up. Good, so option to stay here in this lovely lunge. Option to reach up if you like, maybe bring the palms together, inhale. Create a little length and sink a little deeper into the knee, drop the shoulders, finding that little bit of a back bend. Breathe. Inhale. Again, often to bring the thumbs down towards the sternum. You can stay here, lifting the elbows. You've got the option to twist. So right elbow or body twist over, staying here. You don't have to take anything deeper. Or you can lean forward, relax, and rest the elbow on top of the knee. That's great. Looking towards the left-hand side. Or you can reach. So from here, we're drawing the thumbs in. So you can see it from this angle as well. Maybe tucking the elbow in front of that knee. Using it like a little lever, drop the shoulders down and sing. Just breathe here. If it feels too much, go back a stage. Just listening to the body as we move into our twist. Three, two, and one. You've got to inhale, coming back to the center. Reach it out, relax the forehead and bring the hands down. You've got it slowly wiggling the front foot back. And down into your child's pose. Lovely work. Inhale. And exhale, you can bend the elbows, take this one a little bit more relaxed, maybe walk the forehead side to side, getting that lovely relief. Just letting yourself sink into the hip. Gene, how it feels for three. Inhale, and exhale for two. And one, lovely. Getting that little bit of tension out, coming back to center with the forehead, a little bit stillness. Inhale, let's feel the body up and step. Move a little quicker into cow. You drop the shoulders down and draw in, finding that lovely flat back. And you've got it. Good. Inhale this time. We're just going to keep the right foot up. We're going to bend the knee. We're going to reach the toes over a little bit more toward the left. It's a little bit of a twist. We're opening the body towards the right side of the toes. Move towards the left. Just breathing. Now the hands here, or if it feels more comfortable to come up onto a fist. Um, that's fine too. Just breathing, just trying to open the hips here. A little bit of a twist as we move the knee back. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. From here, we're going to invite you to slowly draw the knee down and in. And we're going to take the knee out and slowly lift the toes down and into the center. We take the knee wide and lift the toes good taking just a little bit of a twist and a little bit of a hip opener here down open it wide and then we lift the toes and bring the knee back down so we're drawing the leg down and opening it out like the hydrant and then we're drawing it back down and opening back in that hydrant pose one more down and this time bring the knee to the floor You've got it. Inhale, taking a little cat pose for it. Pull across the shoulder blades, chin in, get that beautiful stretch. Oh, three, two, and one. Nice job. Inhale, let's find a little cow pose in between. Drop the shoulders. Really nice for spine. I think cat and cow are so healthy. Even if you just added that into your day, seated. 
It's such a nice one when you wake up or the floor bed. Three, two, and one. Drawing in from the core, drop the shoulders down. And you've got it. So we're going to shift the weight. If you find that the pressure on the wrist is too much, come up onto a fist or stay with the palms down. We're just going to kick up with that left foot and we're going to reach it over. So you can feel the twist. You can probably feel it maybe in the lower back. I definitely personally get it there, but everyone's practice is going to feel different in different parts of the body. We all live different days in different kind of versions of these bodies. They're perfect as they are. Just take it as you need it. Breathing in. And breathing out, good. So from here, we're going to draw the knee down. So you bring it in as if we're drawing the knee in towards the nose. And then we're going to take it wide like a hydrant. And then lift it up slightly and draw it down. It's like you're making little circles with the knees. In, lift, and toes come up. Good. Again, taking it as you need it. You can do slower, fast. Inhale. And exhale for five. Four. Three, little smile, two, and the last one, lift, pick it up, and down, bringing the knee down onto the mat, inhale and exhale, sinking down, bringing the forehead onto the mat this time, getting that again, lovely little massage and release, move the head side to side, feeling that pressure, feeling tension with the body, three, Two and one. Inhale and exhale. Coming back up, we peel the body up. Quick little pat. Lovely shoulder roll and back to a nice flat. Back. Nice work, everyone. Feeling that lovely little stretch today. We're gonna take out with that right leg. We're gonna bend the knee and we're gonna slowly bring it forward and take a step. Good. Finding that lovely lunge, inhale, reaching out, palms together, maybe little back bends. Finding that sequence we just found and the thumbs come in, maybe find it a little bit flowier. Inhale, we're gonna rotate over, staying here, maybe resting the elbow down or maybe tucking it in front. You've got one last challenger here. If you'd like, you can stay. You can tuck the back toes. Maybe if the balance is there today, you can lift that back knee. Maybe working the back heel away, driving that front knee forward. Option to look up, forward or down, whatever feels best. You can also open the palms out if you really want to challenge yourself. You can do that with the knee on the ground as well. Three, two, and one. Nice deep twist. Coming back down with the knee if you took that option. Swoop the arms up and back. Little back bend. Hands come down. Wiggle that front foot back. And sink into your child pose. Just a breath here. Inhale. And as we exhale, peel up to cut, a little more flow. Rotate the shoulders up and back out. Drawing in, flat back, inhale, extend. Big step forward, bend the knees and forward. Good, when you're ready, if you find your balance, maybe reaching it up, inhale, maybe a little back bend. And as we exhale, bring the palms together, drawing them in. Nice deep breath in. Option to twist and hold here. Maybe elbow, maybe tuck. Totally up to you. The balance is there. Maybe take that twist a little deeper. Maybe tuck the back toes. You can stay here and sink. Breathing in and out. Option maybe to lift that back heel and drive the knee forward a little more if you want a little bit more depth. Or also option to open the hands out and wide. There we go. Or you can drop that back knee. A little tighter on this side for me today, I wonder. Nice to do it because I would never have known. Drop the shoulders down for three, two, and one. Slowly dropping it down if you've taken it forward. Thumbs come together, reaching out. Beautiful. Drop the hands down. Slowly wiggle that front foot. This time back just to tabletop. Arch the back into cat pose. Tuck the toes and lift up into a downward dog. Nice one. Just slow movements, bending in the knees. Downward dog's a little bit newer to you. Drop the shoulders and then we'll walk one heel and then the other. Take nice slow deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. For four. Nice one. Three. Two. And one. Deep breath in. 
relaxing the feet, bending the knees, finding some stillness, drop the shoulders down away from the ears, taking a big step forward or hop if you want. Other foot joins and draw everything down to a nice forward fold. Let the knees be bent, the chest mm. relax and then the top of the leg, the chin drop down. Mm. Often to grab opposite elbows, maybe swing side to side. Just breathe. Mm. In and out. Four. Three. Two. And one. Coming back down, just let everything hang. Inhale and exhale. Breathing in. Really take it slow for your halfway lift. Just checking in here. If you want the fingertips on the mat and the hamstrings feel open, you can, but take it slow. You don't want any dizziness. And then when you're ready, peel the body up in a really comfy way. Bring the head up and find a little bit of stillness. Make any adjustments that you need. Just gonna change a little bit of the angle here so you can see me standing. Good. Grab a quick drink and a nice deep breath for a reset. Inhale and exhale. Lovely. Oh, dreamy little coffee. Quite rare. I've got a, a little coffee to go in. Amazing. All right, we're going to do a nice little sweaty neck section, middle section of the class. Just making it a little bit warmer. Again, building in a little bit of our twist. We're gonna play a little bit with chair pose today. Um, and yeah, just building that in as we go. So yeah, work with me if you need a break, especially in chair pose where we sit a little bit deeper into that position. If you need to come out of it, just straighten the legs and then go back when you're ready. We'll create a bit of heat and then we'll have a really nice twisty stretch on the floor to finish our class. So over halfway. All right, when you're ready, let's come to feet hip distance, finding that lovely position for a little um, vinyasa. We'll start with a slow one and then we'll build into our, our, um, our chair pose. Inhale, let's rotate the shoulders up and back. I'll face this way just so you can see. Rotating it up and back, inhale and exhale. We throw a little smile in there, feeling good. Ooh, getting all those cracks and kinks out. Inhale and exhale. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. From here, we're going to inhale, reach the arms up and exhale, hinge at the hips, reaching forward, finding that length. So see if you can hold it a little bit. Don't lock the knees, just find that lovely stretch in the hamstring. And then we bend the knees and pull down. If you do have openness in the hamstrings, you can work to straighten them a little more in your forward fold, maybe relaxing the forehead. Inhale, finding a halfway lift, whichever suits you. So fingertips on the mat, maybe trying to line the hips with the ankles, or if there's absolutely no way, don't worry. Draw the hands up, squeeze the elbows in. That's a great halfway lift here, trying to straighten the legs. Relax the face, inhale. Bring down nice deep bend of the knees, reaching wide, scooping up all that positive energy, maybe a little back bend here, and the hands come back to center, thumbs in. Inhale, we're gonna twist the body towards the right hand side, just keeping the feet forward. Inhale, as we exhale, come back to center, drawing in from your core. If you don't want the tailbone dipping, you wanna tuck it under, draw the pelvis forward in from the center. Good, breathing in. As we exhale, twisting towards the left. Holding there, just twisting as far as the body will let you, but keeping that drawing in from the navel. Inhale, coming back to center, noticing the length of the spine. Exhale, so all the while keeping that tuck. Inhale, reaching the arms up. And exhale, leaning forward, bend the knees, pull down. Exhale, you've got it. A little halfway lift wherever feels comfortable. Bend the knees deep, big scoop of the arms, reaching up, maybe a little back bend. Thanks now, bringing the thumbs in. Good, inhale, 
twisting towards the right. Exhale, drawing in from your core. Remember, tucking under. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, breathing in and twisting the other direction. You've got it. Inhale, coming back to center. Good. Inhale, we're going to reach the arms up and we're going to swoop them down and bend the knees. Swinging them alongside the feet and up, just coming to standing. So I'm going to face forward just so you can see the movement. We're going to inhale, swoop it up and back, swinging the hands alongside the feet and reach back up. Good. Inhale, bend the knees and stay. So we're going to sink here. I want you to shift the weight to the heels, lift the toes, and then lift the chest a little bit. The hands can rest on the knees if you like squeezing the elbows in towards each other. There is a great little start to chair pose. Maybe bringing the hands onto the hips. Nice little sink. Three. Imagine just like it is sitting on a chair. Two and one, straightening the legs. Good. Inhale, reach the arms up alongside the ears. Sooking them down. One swoop and up. Inhale. Swoop it down. And up. And down. We're going to hold. Good. So bringing the hands either onto the knees, maybe the hands onto the hips, lifting into the chest, sinking into those heels, just feeling that little bit of power. Remember, come out of it if you need to. Three, little smile, you've got this. Two, and one, straightening the legs, you've got it. Let's take two more swoops, inhale, reaching it up and down. Feeling alive and that stretching in the legs and that strengthening. Two, inhale and exhale. Hold if you like. Lifting in the chest, draw the shoulders back, sinking into the heels. Maybe this time bringing the thumbs in. Sinking and holding. Breathe. Maybe twisting towards the right a little and back and the left and back and swooping the arms up, reaching in, hands come from center, give it a little shake out. Good, deep breath in, hand out. Bring the hands down, shake the hands, maybe draw one knee in. So we're gonna inhale, exhale, a little sink of the knees, maybe shifting weight to the left side and lifting the right. So you can either hold onto a wall for this. If you've got the balance, grab the outside of the knee, draw the shoulders up and back. Lifting in the chest, just finding a little balance here. And a nice little breath, drop the shoulders down. Inhale and exhale, three, two, and one. Inhale, the balance is still there, bend the knee. Again, you can always bring the foot onto the floor or you can lift, maybe grab it and lift and drop the shoulders back. And if the balance isn't there, this is perfect. Just toe on the floor. Just breathe. Just taking time to reset. Reset everything. Drop the shoulders. Settle the breath before we take a little bit more in that chair pose sequence. Maybe adding a twist today. Maybe leaving it out. Yogi's choice. Inhale. And exhale. Bend the knees. Coming back to that nice hip, nice hip distance position. Good. So you want your, like I said, the legs hip distance, just find a breath for me. We're gonna inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. You've got it. All right, so this is gonna be a little bit stronger. You might feel the power. If you feel strong, stay a little longer. If you wanna straighten, come out of it, like I said, please do so. Yogi's choice, but I will give you a little challenger in, in how long we stay. So feel free to come out of it and join us back whenever you're ready or just finish the, the movement with the twist standing rather than with the knees bent. Well, it'll make sense in a minute. Ready? Two swoops, reaching up. Nice little shoulder stretch down. And reaching up nice. Arms alongside the ears and down. Beautiful. And last one, inhale. Exhale, down, hold. So staying here. Lifting in the toes, shifting the weight back, maybe bring the palms up. Good. You've got the option to add a little twist here as we sink. So we can bring that left elbow over like we did before. You can relax it on top of the knee or on the other side of it, maybe trying to draw the thumbs in towards the sternum. Now make sure that you're sinking back. You're still getting that work. 
in the legs, maybe a nice little twist here. Maybe looking up, forward or down. Or option is also to open the arms up. Nice, reaching up, nice little twist here, breathing. Three, two, and one. Slowly bringing the hands back to center, lifting in the chest. Again, straighten the legs and come back into it or stay swooping over. That right elbow can rest on top. You can stay here, sinking into those heels. Maybe tucking out in front. Maybe drawing the thumb a little bit more into the sternum. Totally up to you. Maybe opening the arms wide. Maybe a little smile here, drop the shoulders down. If the neck is sore, look down or forward. If not, we'll see if you can look up, draw the shoulders down and away. Three, two, and one. Beautiful, bringing the thumbs back in, slowly back to center, lifting in the chest. Keep that little fire, Woo. straightening up. Bring the hands up and down. Thumbs in, you've got a deep breath in. And exhale through the mouth. Breathing and reaching up and slowly swing the arms back and down. Coming back up, thumbs to sternum, nice little twist, a little bit quicker opening if you like. Back to center, inhale, twist to the other side, a little quicker if you like. Back to center and slowly reaching the arms wide. Inhale. Hands come to heart center, beautiful. I'm gonna take the feet a little wider this time. See if you can turn the toes in slightly. I'm gonna take a little forward fold here with a twist, inhale. And slowly exhale, just lean forward. So the toes are tightly, slightly turned in like pigeon toed. Just lean forward with the chest and let the back naturally arch here. Maybe see if the fingertips, the fists, the palms will make it to the mat. I love this one because just let gravity do the work. Little inversion. Nice, healthy little, little stretch. If you'd like to add a twist, you can. If not, you can just stay here. So option to bring the left hand in the middle of the feet. And inhale, maybe reach up with the right hand. If you need to take a little bend in either knee to feel good, that's fine. If not, just see if you can reach up. Find a little length. You might even have a fist there or a fingertip to be lifted higher. So wherever you need to have that left hand, Fingertips, fists, palm, whatever suits you. You've got it. Nice little open stretch, nice twist. Inhale and slowly exhale, bringing the head back to center. This time, other side. So that right hand comes in between. Again, check whether you want fingertips, fist. Again, you can have the hands on a book or you can open up nicely, reaching up. If you feel a little stretch, come in and anything natural in terms of bending or straightening one of your other legs, you can. Or just keep it a nice open twist with the knee slightly bent. Three, breathing in and out. Remember the neck can be anywhere that feels comfortable. We kind of moving towards looking up and drawing the shoulders down in a way. Throw a little smile in there and slowly bring the hand back to center, just letting the back arch and hang. Maybe straightening the legs a little more. Maybe even reach the palms through. So you've got the option here to reach the hands through the legs. Maybe seeing if you can bring the palms down, draw the chin in a little more. Relaxing in the neck and just take some nice slow deep breaths. Three, nice inversion to clear the mind. Two, and one, slowly bringing the hands back forward this time. I want you to think like tabletop position, so bring them forward. We're gonna bend the knees and slowly bring one knee in and down. And the other knee in and down. A beautiful job. So you're in tabletop now. The hips are in line with the knees. Your hands are nice and wide, shoulders in line with the wrists. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, reach through, little thread the needle. Good, keep it lifted. Inhale, lifting up. And bring the hand down, exhale, good. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, reaching through. Inhale, reaching up. Keep it flowing and down, other side. One more like that on each side, reaching up. Again, today's little focus was adding a twist into our movement and using it as our focus, reaching up. Nice deep breath in and hand down. Other side, reaching up. 
and three, and reach it up, and down. You've got it. Slowly moving the feet to the side, coming to a nice comfy position on your mat, grabbing your drink if you've got one. Nice one. So just see how those twists felt today, whether you were able to go deeper with a different side or a different part of the body, how that was feeling as you moved today. I definitely noticed a difference in, in my side. So yeah, just interesting, isn't it? It's nice to always meet yourself on the mat and just check in when you can. Um, absolutely lovely work today. So take a nice deep breath for me and exhale through the mouth. Beautiful. A little sit for me. We're going to add one last twist here as our re relaxation. So we're just going to bring the feet in front. I want you to extend your left foot and draw your right knee in. Just a nice little final twist here. You can stay just like this. We don't want the back to be collapsing. You can grab the front of the knee, rotate the shoulders up and lift. Good. Just finding a nice long spine. That's what we're after, breathing in and breathing out. Maybe throw a little smile in there, well done. Feeling the warmth you've created, maybe any release. Option here is to keep the knee as it is, maybe twist and turn towards the right. Or some of us quite like to cross the foot over. It's not too you know, different, just up to you what feels good. You can stay here, inhale. Or exhale, maybe as we breathe in, feel the belly and the spine lift. And then that gives us space to twist towards that right side. Now I often use my left arm to give that knee a little cuddle. So I'm bringing the knee into the crease of the elbow as I twist towards that right hand side. The other option, I'll just move my body so you can see twisting this direction. You can also bring the right hand down, maybe left elbow lifts and bring the left elbow in front. So you can hold it there, point your finger and thumb to touch, your other three fingers coming away, staying or we breathe in. And as we exhale, we push a little bit into that elbow, feeling the belly and the spine lift and we drop the shoulders down, just working in that position. You can either have your left toes flexed or pointed, whatever feels good and try not to collapse into the right side, draw the shoulder down and away. You've got it, big smile here, inhale. Maybe looking towards that right hand, just to get that little bit of extra depth in the twist. Looks really cool, this one, if you get a photo of yourself. Three, two, and one. Inhale, slowly coming back to center, and drop the shoulders down. Nice work, everyone. Let's unravel if you've taken the crossed foot. Again, you could always do it without. Bring both knees in and switch sides. I'm going to just spin around so you can see it. from this angle. We're going to bring the left foot in. Drop the shoulders down. We don't want to collapse in the spine. So you don't. You can stay here and lift in the chest and drop the shoulders back. You can spend the whole of this last part of the stretch just here. Getting a nice tall spine, breathing in and out. That's a beautiful end no matter what choosing to kind of point or flex those toes. Inhaling and exhaling. If you'd like to cross the foot over, take that option. You're welcome to do that. Nice job. Inhaling and exhaling, little smile. If you wanted to add that final twist in, by taking that right elbow, you're gonna give a little hug to your left knee. Inhale, rotate that left shoulders up and open it back. Maybe just opening the chest a little over towards that side. You can bring the fingertips down, maybe pushing into that hand. So what we don't want is this collapsing body. We want the long spine, the shoulders back, using that back hand just as a kickstand, shoulders drawing down away from the ears. Breathing in and out. This is a perfect place to stay, beautiful pose to end. If you did wanna use the elbow as a little lever or just play with it as a look, you can bring the elbow and rest it on top. Or if you want it as a little bit more depth, inhale, tuck it in front of the knee as we've been practicing. Point your finger and thumb to touch, staying there. Or make sure you add in the breath, we breathe in, we lengthen. Belly and spine lengthen as we breathe in. That gives you space to twist a little further towards that backhand if you like. 
Inhaling and exhaling. Again, take it as you need it. Try not to collapse in that upper body into the back hand if you're here. You want to go back, hug the knee or face forward. Relax the forehead for us. Your last twist of the day. Three. Breathing to the belly. Most important thing, getting that lovely massage. We did such good stuff today with the twist for all those internal organs, tapping into that parasympathetic nervous system, the vagal response, all that goodness. Inhale. And exhale, let's unravel the pose. Give the knee a little hug if you're taking that option. Lifting up and slowly bringing the foot in, in and back to the other side. Let's bring both knees in. And all I'll invite you to do here is to give yourself a little hug. Drop the chin in towards the knees. Relax the head on the knees if it feels comfortable. Don't worry if you're not there. I know everyone's got different backs and spines and bodies. Just move in the direction that, that the um language and the... I suppose the instruction is all just guidance. So it's all movement that should guide you to find a stretch, a movement, a calmness, a breath that hopefully brings you into a place that you feel just a little lighter, whether it's physically or emotionally. So no pressure. The pose never had to happen in a certain way today. Just about taking time to breathe. Inhale. And exhale, slowly, slowly bring yourself down onto the mat, bringing the spine and the body, getting anything else around you that you need. If you want to grab your eye pillows or your blankets, you feel like you have any last little stretch before you get into that place of stillness, please take it. Oh, whatever feels good to you. Find a lovely little spot where you can be still and silent rested and relaxed, definitely earned that lovely place to close your eyes. And again, just take any last little wiggles, relaxing in the neck, maybe lifting the head up, drawing the chin in and bringing it back down, breathing in, slowly breathing out as we wiggle the shoulders down away from the ears. Maybe taking the hands a little wider, back to the hands to relax on the back of the mat. Maybe the legs extended and out in a V. Take up the space, especially when you're practicing, you know, in the comfort of your home. It's such a lovely gift to kind of have that space. And I invite you to really just allow yourself to drop. It was quite a fluid class, lots of movement, lots of twists and you know, moving, you know, from one stretch to the next, from one asana or position to the next. Allow yourself to just soak up the dichotomy, the opposite of the movement and the stillness. And I feel like that's like the perfect metaphor for today. Um, I love this time of year. And you'll notice in my classes that I really revel and mention a lot about the seasons because I think when we look at those opposite opposites today, I really want you to soak up what this season is becoming. You know, the trees are slowly starting to brown and turn yellow and orange. We still have the warmth and the heat and the promise of what summer just was as we begin to enter this September and October, that autumnal season. And just as your practice was today, fluid and moving and busy, we find that stillness at the end of a practice, which is exactly what we find at the end of a summer. You know, the trees begin to release the leaves and kind of lay themselves bare. There's this quiet and gray space where, you know, the sun is hiding a little bit and we can kind of get ourselves in a place where we're ready to hibernate for the winter. And just as much as we, you know, love the sunshine, love the busyness, love getting out, the social aspect of it all, the the warmth being, you know, maybe by a beach or a sea or in the garden and the green and the color. I think it's just as important that we see the joy in the darker months and we see the joy in the change and the promise at which autumn brings, shedding the leaves. Maybe we ourselves can really embrace just letting go of, of those insecurities, those worries. 
maybe facing those few things in these months so that we can to just find a space where we can grow find a space where we can sit in stillness and we can be cozy and we can wrap up and enjoy our little creature comforts and we can rest so that again we find a new energy and a new zest maybe we make a few changes moving through the seasons and moving and flowing maybe in similar patterns and more importantly, just listen to what it is you need as we change season. If you feel lethargic, just run with that. Sleep and rest if you can. If you feel like moving more dynamically with a little heat, you want to add something else into your life, you know, do that. And just listen to your gut and trust. I'm wishing you a beautiful season as we move into the autumn, as we straddle that summer, that winter as we straddle that busyness and we move into the quiet and the stillness, embrace all sides of our seasons and all sides of ourselves, breathing in and slowly, slowly breathing out. I'm gonna leave you in a little bit of quiet here for your Shavasana. Taking any bit of time that you need. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. <laughs> oh, have a lovely day. I miss you. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs>